this subject truly is timeless. It is about you. It is about being alive. It is about discovering. It is about feeling. And it is about that joy that exists in the heart of every human being. Summer comes. Winter comes. Summer comes again. This is the drama that plays out on this planet Earth again and again. But in this big drama, there are little dramas being played out. And these little dramas are the dramas of your life. You, one day feeling good, one day not feeling so good. But what is common to all of you? Do you know? The most common thing to all of you, which you do not recognize, is one of those things that is at once the most powerful, the most powerful, and at once so quiet, so gentle, that you almost would not notice it. And what is it? It is your quest. Your quest, your thirst, your want, your wish to be content. But it is your thirst, your quest, your want, your wish, your desire to be fulfilled. It is your wish, your want, your desire to be in peace. In peace. A question needs to be asked that whatever may be happening in my life at any given time, in the time of joy, in the time of pain, in the time of pleasure, in the time of suffering, whatever is happening, is it bringing me closer to me? Because if it isn't, and it's removing me from myself, removing me from myself, then something is drastically wrong. Drastically. Now, I know for a lot of people this becomes a very serious subject because there is always that question, who am I? Who are you? And even though a lot of people have thought about that question, there isn't a certainty of an answer. 
Nobody has got it pegged. Oh, yeah, that's what I am. Because everybody gets their information. Some people go read books. Some people have discussions. Some people follow this. Some people follow that. And I'm not here to try to present to you another path, another way, another idea, another philosophy. I'm really here to tell you you're alive. So when I say you are alive, I am saying something so precious, so beautiful, so simple. that you really have to look at it for what it is worth. And it is worth everything. It is worth your existence. It is worth all your aspirations, all your dreams are in that. And what do you truly aspire for? You aspire to be content. This is the want, this is the desire to be. To be content. Now everything that we do in this world is for that little contentment, for that little gratification, somehow, somewhere, that we may have that. I am not saying that you should become a monk and go on top of some solitary mountain and sit down and then, then you will have contentment. Mm -mm. Did you hear me say that? The people are already going. No, 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 no. Just, you know, live in this world, party. Did I say you shouldn't party? But if you're going to party, party the best possible way. Party. That's fun. Fun. And so here's the twist. Living your life consciously is the most fun a human being can have on this Confusion is the worst nightmare because all it does is spirals you more and more and more and more and more up till the point that you've lost your clarity, your understanding, and indeed yourself. You are the source of joy. The peace that you need is not the world peace, but the peace within yourself. The truth is not at the bottom of the ocean or top of a mountain. but within your own heart. Peace is...
is your strength. Have you learned how to garner it every single day? We cannot survive more than three minutes without air. Three hours without warmth, our environment. Three weeks without food. Three days without water. Do you know, for your inner journey, where your water is? Do you? That it lies within you? And so people ask, well, if it lies within me, then what do I need to do? The science, understand the science of thirst. <laughs> Science of thirst. You know what thirst does to a person? Okay, so when you're not thirsty, everything is, oh yes, hello, 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 how are you, how are you? Would you like a glass of water? Oh no, I'm fine, I'm fine. Like that, da, 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 da. You're not thirsty. Then you start to get thirsty. Your lips start to get dry. Hmm. And still you're going, oh, yes, yes, we have to have this. And yes, yes, we have to do this. And yes, yes, we have to do this. We get more thirsty and more thirsty and more thirsty and more thirsty and more thirsty. And well, eventually that thirst will say, excuse me. Everything come to a grinding halt. I need a glass of water. The thirst for water will clarify what is the priority. The thirst for the self will also clarify what is the priority. So, this opportunity called life that you have, which isn't that much, comparatively speaking, <laughs> And, and by the way, I did forget to tell you, that's a little too long, but no matter how much I practice, I can't cut the time back. But that is a little too long. It's less than a second. And in this less than a second, everything, all the dramas are gonna play out. All your dramas are gonna, all your dramas are gonna play out. Which one do you want to win the Academy Award for? <laughs> Complaining? Confusing? Or something real? Somebody told me once, this gentleman in India, one day he came home. And he came home and, 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 and his first child said, Hey dad, uh, I have to get these shoes, otherwise I'm not going to school tomorrow. The second son came, um, you know what, I, my bag is finished, I have to have a new bag, otherwise I can't go to school tomorrow. Upon hearing the two sons say all this, the mother th also heard this and came out and said, well, you know what, we need dal, we need this, we need this, we need this, we need this. without this, no food tomorrow. And the man had just come from an office. Hard day's work. Hmm? And he looked at his family. And he goes, if I'm not happy, how can I make you happy? If I am not happy, how can I make you happy? Stute observation. Very keen observation. Very accurate observation. Incredibly, incredibly accurate observation. If you understand that the peace is within you and the thirst for peace is within you, then you have taken the biggest step towards realizing peace in your life. Whatever may happen, whatever may come, whatever may go, the reality of it is your want for peace will be there. The reason for peace will be there. 
and the way to be able to fulfill that peace will also be there. What are the desires? To be content, to be fulfilled? The real thirst. To be in joy. To be clear. To be clear, not to be in doubt. Doubt is not human compatible. Anger is not human compatible. How did we get where we are? We started off on the right track. We started off on the right track. Oh, absolutely. The thirst in each one of us to be in joy, to be in contentment, was there. That's when we were young, <laughs> babies. All we wanted, every day. Bring it on, let it come. Never bored, never bored of contentment. Never bored of enjoying, never bored of joy, never bored from happiness. And of course, you know, our parents, oh, here, play with this. And a baby. A foot is fine. <laughs> foot is okay. All day long. Hmm, not that I found. You had a real connection. A real thirst for joy. A real connection with joy. And in your life, even when you could walk, you would walk for one reason. <laughs> You would go and see, am I happy? Is this fun? Is this good? If not, turn, turn, look, find. So far that joy was coming, so far that happiness was there. It was all good. The focus gets. So when I go to people to talk to them about peace, <laughs> you see, I know where peace is. I do. It's in you. <laughs> it's been in you all this time. It'll be there till your last breath. Till your last breath. But what you need to do is to find your thirst, not for explanations. Not for explanations. Live your life with a thirst and a focus, and you'll succeed at whatever you want. That's my suggestion. That's my suggestion. Stop chasing the signs of water. Stop chasing the signs of water. In a dry river bed, there are signs of water everywhere. You can see exactly where the 
Say, water, carve this out and carve that out and do this and did this and did this. But you cannot water your plants with those signs. Water is water. It cannot be substituted. Find the water. The water that dwells within you. The answer that is waiting to be recognized. You are looking for peace and peace is looking for you. And what do you need to do? Be still. Stop running around. Be still. So that the peace can find. you have in you the love that you've been looking for. You have in you the joy that you have been looking for. You have in you the truth that you have been looking for. You have in you the divine that you have been looking for. We're the ones that need the peace, my friends. We are the ones. And the only way there is going to be any peace in this world is when we are at peace. Nothing else. We are the lamps that need to be lit. Light this. Be alive, be thankful, be conscious in your life.